Good morning. It is 3.24 in the morning right now. I have been up probably for about an hour or more because I haven't been able to sleep. Um, I usually get up early to make these videos anyway, but not this early. <clears throat> yesterday, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday. I went to my sister's house and visited, and um, I tried to stay the night, but I couldn't sleep, so I ended up driving home in the middle of the night, because I just really wanted my own bed, <laughs> but I, I don't think the issue was you know, that I wasn't home. I think the issue was that I'm currently weaning off of Cetulin. Zoloft. Um, I began taking Zoloft years ago. Like, I don't even remember how many years ago. I would have to count. I would have to count it, and I don't want to do that right now. But it's been years, longer than 10 years. Um, I've tried to come off of Zoloft. A handful of times before and each time I try the symptoms return um, but this time I wanted I really want to get off that freaking medication um, so <clears throat> I'm trying again and this time I did some research and try to See what the withdrawal symptoms were. How long is it going to take to come off of this stuff and blah, 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 right? Um, so I've been, you know, taking my time coming off it. I mean, a long time because they say the longer you're on it, the longer you should taper off and take your time coming off of it, you know. So, you know, I was originally on 100 milligrams. Uh, tablet, 100 milligram tablet. So um, I started by just cutting that in half and taking a 50 milligram tablet. And I was taking that, I did that for like three months. Three months, and I did have some withdrawal symptoms at first, but then those kind of went away and everything was fine, uh, which is why I thought, okay, maybe it's time to cut it in half again. So I cut that down to 25 milligrams. And I started that on March 1st, uh, the 25 milligrams. And that's what I'm currently on. And I've been feeling some withdrawal symptoms again from that. Just insomnia, a little bit of anxiety, um, just kind of jittery. Uh, kind of just weird, <laughs> sweating, you know, it's really uncomfortable, but I'm determined to kind of tough it out this time. I'm, I'm really trying to tough it out this time. I really want to get through this, get through the withdrawal symptoms. I don't want to have to go back on this medication. So at least knowing that this is normal for some people to have these withdrawal symptoms and to have these, um, like, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a relapse. It's not a relapse. I mean, it's normal for this to happen. So I'm going to try to give my time body to adjust. I'm trying to, you know, to do all the things that they say to do to help ease the, um, the symptoms and to help anxiety and depression naturally, like, you know, the exercise and trying to, um, let's see, I have a whole list written down of things I've been trying to do. They say, you know, exercises, have fun, get out in nature, light therapy, um, uh, just a whole list of things. And I'm trying to do more of those things to be in a healthy state of mind so that I, when I do come off the Cetralin, I do not have a relapse. Um, my big thing was anxiety. I've had a lot of trauma and 
a lot of trauma and drama in my past that I've lived through. And I think a, a lot of it came in my childhood, in my young adult life. And they say that that gets caught up in the nervous system and everything. And, you know, <laughs> I, honestly, I've been through a lot. And so, um, you know, I don't know if maybe a lot of this stuff never got processed or was dealt with properly. And so it has caused me a lot of anxiety and depression in my past. And, um, so anyway, I'm just hoping I'm trying to make healthy lifestyle changes. Um, I'm going to get back into therapy. I had some issues with my insurance and they, my therapist went to another she quit and went to another thing and they didn't find me another one. And so I'm kind of stuck here with no therapist right now. Um, but I'm going to find another one. I am, um, to help me get, you know, get through this. Cause they say that helps. And Hey, prayers, right? Pray for me, everybody. I really, really want to get through this. I want do this. I don't want to have to go back on this medication. I don't think it's supposed to be a lifetime thing. Um, I just, I, I want to get off it and I want to, um, get back to normal. I want to just be normal, but, and I want to be able to learn to cope with the anxiety and depression without the medication. Deal with, you know, I don't want a bandaid. I want to fucking deal with whatever the underlying issue is and be done with it. So hopefully that can happen. Anyway, sorry I didn't do my check-in yesterday. I, I kind of, I didn't sleep. I came home and I just crashed and rested yesterday. So anyway, have a wonderful day.